Adding a checkbox filter on your Elementor website can significantly enhance user experience. Use the checkbox filter widget with any of our post widgets to help users filter the content on your Elementor page. Let's get started. First, make sure the Unlimited Elements Pro version is installed and activated on your WordPress site. Then head over to Unlimited Elements, Widgets, and use the search bar to find Checkboxes Filter. Hover over it and click Install to add the widget to your site. Before we begin, we need to add the Post List widget to display our custom posts. The Checkbox Filter integrates seamlessly with various widget types, including Post Widgets, Loop Widgets, Woo Widgets, and more. We will use the post list widget in this tutorial. Once the post list widget is added, select the desired post type in the posts query option. Later, we will select the same post type in term selection for the checkboxes filter. Next, drag and drop the checkboxes filter widget from the widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. In the term selection, select the same post type that we chose for the post list widget in the posts query settings. In the filter settings, enable the Sync to Post Widget After Load option to Yes. This will show only terms that are included in the post widget query. You can also override query terms if needed. Choose the filter logic and filter role accordingly. Select the Connect to Grids group to Automatic. Select the loader type to either Grade Tabs or Hidden Filter. You have the flexibility to show a custom title if needed. You can show or hide the post count accordingly. We can also show a See More button if needed. Choose the terms to show initially. Show a Clear button to clear the selected checkboxes. Select the layout type to either Checkboxes or Accordion in the Accordion layout type. You can also show the Accordion as a dropdown. Once you set up the filter, you can start configuring its style settings to match your design needs. Adjust the width, container layout, checkbox layout, alignment, and row gap. Then, adjust the checkbox size, color, border, and also the label color and typography to ensure the checkbox filter integrates seamlessly with your website's design. To wrap up the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. Start using unlimited elements and give your Elementor website superpowers. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.